my time, but I don't mind. Just wanna rock it, rock it, girl, 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 hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i am starting a maintenance vlog i have been crusty for a while now and we can't afford that at the beginning of the year so i'm trying to get my life right and starting to get your life right you need to start by actually looking like <laughs> A human being so that's what I'm trying to do so there's a couple of things that I'm hoping to do German right now I want to get a wash maybe treatment and obviously wig lines or rather is Snoopy it was <laughs> I got a comment on like a TikTok that I did where I went to go do a wash treatment and wig lines in Lazi um, Gavi and someone was just like, we call it Snoopy, what now? And I thought that was such a weird comment because, I mean, if I was speaking, uh, I was speaking Zulu in, sorry, I was speaking English in the voiceover on that TikTok. And um, so I called it Wiglands. So I could have called it Wiglands or Cornrows, but I called it exactly what it was, Wiglands, because the whole idea of getting those wig lines was to have them as wig lines for underneath my wig. Um, and I'm just like, if I was speaking, it's Sulu show, it's Snoopy, but I'm is Sula, I'm Skis, and it's wig lines and all cornrows. So then, I have a fit to. My comments say, I'm going to get a bit, I'm That's a self drag because I be commenting all types of shit on TikTok, but anyway. Um, okay, let me, let me stop that. My intention with, uh, my maintenance vlog is, um, I will be getting wash and wig lines. I will be in, I'll be washing my wigs and I'm going to take one of them and actually install it, hoping to keep the install for at least like five days. Um, lashes waxing and of course nails yeah nails here and my toenails my toenails are actually atrocious so that's the plan um i'm gonna try and undo these now and hopefully i can be able to go and do the wash and wig lines today um and then tomorrow i can do an install i've already made an appointment for my nails however however i do want however i do want to look for a nail set but yeah that's the idea for this vlog um and I hope that you guys do enjoy it. I'm also considering doing my my brows. I never do my brows, but we'll see about that. Uh, it's not high on the priority list. Also, guys, do not forget to subscribe. 10K, smell, strongil, okay? That big girl no they too like work Animals they in human form And the man nobody like work But you must hustle if you want work He no finish they won't fight us If them they run them no fit that work I know they form say I too like us No con they form say they too like us You know get the time for the day So you should remember Paradise Beauty from the time that I did my blonde straight back. So I went back again to do wig lines, well a wash and wig lines. 
and in total everything cost me a hundred and fifty <laughs> Overall, I was very happy with the service and the work. I think my wig lines were very neat, bar that one line that I don't know why I didn't notice that it was thicker than the rest, but otherwise I was really, really happy. send a client footage from last year that they didn't download so today I actually had to wash my wigs and maybe my makeup brushes um, I've been putting it off literally the whole week because I've been so lazy but I also just recognize that I have my nail appointment tomorrow and I wouldn't like to be washing wigs and makeup brushes with a brand new set of nails. So it's today or never actually. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Yesterday, I stood up for myself at the salon because I could see her making this line very thick in comparison to the ones this side. And I told her I didn't like it. I don't know, I just didn't notice that this one was also a bit thick. Um, just be chocolate. But for the most part, I really think they're so neat. And as my basic team, when she got around here, I'm sure she was like, finish line. It is so liberating to stand up for yourself at the salon. Once you do that, you will never go back. I felt like Topher. Y'all already know who I am. Um, my name's Topher. My wig washing process literally doesn't change whether it's straight or curly hair but I did do a video where I was washing and maintaining a curly wig so you can wash that but basically the principles of how I keep my wigs in good condition is I make sure that I spend a lot of time detangling. I detangle the hair specifically when wet and it usually sheds as you can see here um, and that's blonde hair so it sheds much more than like regular hair and then I move on to actually washing the wig and then also removing glue from the lace those three things are very important but most especially detangling you can't detangle once you've washed and dried it it has to happen first I also strongly believe in deep conditioning the hair always so i always lather it in conditioner and then putting it inside a plastic bag um either heating it up or putting it in the bag and leaving it out for like a day <laughs> So, okay, this wig was atrocious. The last time I used it, I'd swam in it and it needed so much more detangling than I'm used to. I really tried everything in order to try and detangle it properly and I still didn't accomplish it. It just don't ever let your wig get into this state. But just a tip on detangling, you don't detangle from the root to the tip. You start from the tip so the ends to the root. And that's what you see me trying to do here. And you can see how detangled that root is. So this was the next day. And I told myself that I would actually try this year to keep the hair underneath my wigs decent. So I used the LOC method, which is liquid oil and cream. So you saw me going in with water initially. And there's no moisture without water. As you can see, I then went in with a uh, purple hair, hair oil. And after that, I went in with Tresemme hair food. So let me tell you more about the LOC method. Basically, liquid is what you use 
to just have moisture in general. It's literally the, the, the bare minimum for moisture. And oil is there to do a specific thing, whether it's hair growth, um, trying to help you not have dandruff, and then you seal everything with a cream. So cream means it has to be like a thick consistency. So I used hair food. Some people use shea butter, whatever the case may be. But basically, this is the way in which you keep your hair moisturized and retain the moisture. So I actually should be, because my flawless radiance is finished. Um, I should be doing my hair right now. Um, Y'all, it's finished. Um, but I haven't had electricity since yesterday at 2 p.m. It is 7.37 and there's still no electricity. So I cannot prepare my wigs because my hair dryer won't work and my straightener won't work. So it's pointless to wear hair that's still as crazy as it probably was yesterday. So I'm gonna go and do my nails. If I get this snoopy, this in this morning right now, my towel just fell. <laughs> but you guys can't even see that. I'm so frustrated. I'm super, super, super frustrated. I'm not gonna lie. And the worst thing is, I had already started chopping food to cook last yesterday afternoon. Now I had to take the whole house smells like onion because I left the onion out for hours thinking that, yeah, I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook, and I didn't even do that. So, I did say I'd tell you guys how I choose um, my nail sets. Um, I have already chosen a nail set, but I'll just lay this over with my phone screen. But I have a Pinterest board called Nail Wishlist, and Obviously, once you have something like that, Pinterest on your homepage starts to suggest more nail sets for you. And the ones that I like, I just pop them into my nail wish list. And so whenever I'm going to go and do my nails, probably a day before, um, or in that same week, I look for a nail set and find one. Hmm. I think if you start massaging this in as soon as possible, then it really does disappear into your skin without a white cast. Because it's the new year, I think I wanna go for a chrome, um, a chrome nail set. So I just have like two options of some chrome. Um, my nails currently are atrocious. See, it's still the Christmas nail set, and obviously my nails have grown. Um, but I do want them to grow a little bit longer so that they can reshape them and I still maintain some length, because uh, these are my nails. Um, so if I want to change the shape, they have to cut. So I'd rather they grow even longer than this, so that when they snip later, they're of a good length. Yeah, guys, I will see you at Giggles and Curls. So for those of you who don't already know, I do my nails at Giggles and Curls. Oh, she's removing my little reindeer. <sighs> yeah, I do my nails at Giggles and Curls. They offered me coffee, so that's what I had today. Oh, 
I was also here to do my badly damaged toenails. Guys, I realized um, that the song that was playing on the TV was a song by Dre Duke. Did you guys watch Power? On Power, there was this horrible, horrible guy named Dre. And basically, he caused so many people to actually die. How is he an Afrobeat singer? And when I tell you that his song bangs, I need you guys to check out the song. I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere when I figure out what was the name of the song. But it bang hard. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I went for a chrome design, like I said earlier, but I added another line underneath just to give it more pizzazz. I didn't bring my phone this day, so I had to go look for what I wanted. Um, these are my natural nails. Um, however, let's say you come in and you want to do this with tips. That would actually cost you... 350 to use tips if the tips need shaping so into an almond shape or stiletto not square you're not charged for shaping a square you would pay 40 rand additional and for nail art it's another 40 rand so in total that would be 350 40 plus 40 that's 430 bucks if i did the maths correctly and if you are going to use your own nails like myself it is 300 rand obviously shaping and art cost the same so i basically paid 380 for my nails and yeah if you guys didn't already know veronica is the person who does my nails so if you go to giggles and curls you can just ask for her tell them i sent you but overall i love the experience that i get at giggles and curls especially the part where they wash and exfoliate my hands and they leave looking so soft and you know scrumptious Babylon, baby. Guys, I kid you not, there's too no electricity. Here are the nails. Last caught up when there was no power and we literally had no power for like two and some change days straight so I really wasn't able to do much this is one of the wigs that I washed but um, now that we do have power I had to run some more errands uh, so I haven't fully like prepped it all I did was like add some mousse here at the top but i did go to china mall the other day and then i picked up some more stuff today so at china mall i went and picked up a bonnet i did have another bonnet this one is reversible but i left it at shekinah's place i haven't gone to look for it or try and get it back i was also running out of moisturizer so if you don't know this is what I use, um, and then here's my serum. So these are part of my daily, my daily, um, what, skincare routine. So I can't run out of them because it's 
staple. Uh, I went to go get ORS today. I have been struggling to find this baby. Honestly, I've been struggling to find her. Um, but luckily today, they, they had it. Um, if you've also been struggling, Mall of Africa Clicks has it. Uh, got some hand cream. I'm trying this one for the first time. But as soon as it tells me that it has vitamin E and has the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly in it, I already know it's a fighter. I got some lip stuff and I keep licking my lips anyway. Um, this is from Blistex and it specifically says it's for hydration um, and it has SPF 15. Yeah, and then from China Mall, I mean, I think I showed, I just got some lashes, some cheap little lashes, um, got wax stick. I saw a tweet somewhere that says, Wooty, the reason our wigs aren't sticking and the wax stick isn't working accordingly is because it's fake. And apparently these, this stuff should cost so much more. But unfortunately, guys, we don't know any bits like in Nazi. Direct us to where the real ones are. But so long in Gaitoli, Leo, a real. This is what I'm saying. I'm 65 rand buffets. So, what's left on my agenda uh, just for maintenance is I have to wash my makeup brushes and have to get a wax and. I also need to do my lashes. So this is the new wig that I have that I got from Ali Grace and did a hair installation video on. And I just felt like maybe it needed some plucking and more customization. So I tried to pluck it here, but I think it even needs bleaching. So yeah, I tried to do that here but i didn't get very far i then moved on to washing my makeup brushes which i'm really glad i did um this process is very simple i just use sunlight dishwashing liquid and this makeup brush washer thing that i got years ago from clicks um and then i go ahead and then also dip my makeup brushes into a chick mix water and jig once i am done washing them with the dishwashing liquid um unfortunately i realized that that doesn't work with beauty blenders because hey if i get beauty blender i'm in bleach hey 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 Regardless, most of my brushes are clean and most of them are from Hermosa Floor. You guys know that meme that goes, um, it's not a meme, it's a TikTok. There's this TikTok that goes, where did you get that jacket from? You know the version that's like, where did you do your lashes? Where did you get that jacket from? Hey, Whoa! Hey, I Darling, is it safe? Girl, I think that you have to decide for yourself if it's safe and whether you're willing to take the risk. But I now get why that TikTok exists. So, um, right, here are my lashes. Um, and yeah, I, I went to go do them in Brom. I went to the wrong lash tech. So there's this girl, I liked her lashes, so I asked her like where she did them. I had lashes done at that point in time too. And she said, no, she had them done in brown, this lady, um, and she's like super affordable, blah, 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 blah. I told her I did mine in brown too. I think in my previous maintenance vlog that I posted in December for Vlogmas, I did mention the place. Um, and I did say it was quite expensive, 
expensive for it being in Brom. So like getting another alternative and like then still having to travel to Brom. I was like, oh, I'm willing to do it because I realized that Brom Lash is lost, you know? So um, fine, she gives me this woman's number. I set up an appointment. As soon as I get to this place, so I used to live in Brom, right? So as soon as I get to this place, I know this place. It's on 93 Jutta Street. I've been here before. I know how it works. Literally, if you just mention who you're going to, they take you where it is because there's like a whole line of salons there, a whole block of salons. So, um, yeah, so then I tell this girl I'm going to um, this, per this person and they take me somewhere inside and they walk me upstairs and I sit there. The lady hands me a phone and she says I must pick my style. So this wasn't alarming to me because when I made the appointment, I just made an appointment for volume lashes, mega volume. I didn't say what style, right? So this wasn't alarming to me. She sits me down in her chair um, and I ask for her name because I don't really know her actual name. I, she tells me her name, which is Lily, by the way. And I'm like, cool. Um, she's like yours and I'm like Tando. I don't expect them to remember all of us when they talk to us. Yeah, well, I'm like, I'm Tando. Cool. She does my lashes, right? First of all, already any salon where a lot's happening, as in like there's a nail store over here, there's someone selling hair here, Konolu. It, it was already that vibe and then had to go upstairs on these teeny teeny tiny stairs you know and i'm sat also not a private room just like that other lash tech right but i'm like it's, it's whatever it's whatever we took the risk so i i be sat in the chair and she starts doing my lashes and yes a chair so i wasn't even lying down maybe it's even better that the other lash take i was lying down but this time around no so um yeah well she does my lashes at day day um she put something on my lashes first that i've never felt someone put on before i don't know whether it's a lengthening sort of serum or whatever but it was quite it stung quite a bit but i know it wasn't glue but anyway yeah she finishes my lashes or whatever um i sat for a very long time waiting for them to dry like with the fan um and that confused me because i've never sat that long waiting for them to dry but when i was done um i was very happy i'm still happy she then asked me to save her number then i'm like but i do it anyway i'm thinking maybe this is the phone that she uses for clients for whom or clients clients now i guess i don't know so i save her number and i ask her what must i do with the other one and she's like what other one so i show her she's like oh my god that's not me and i'm like wow i was escorted to the wrong place and worse, I told the lady that I was actually going to, that I'll be there in 15 minutes. But my thing is just like, she wasn't good with communication anyway, because she would have called me and asked me why am I not there yet. Um, so I mean her loss. And then this lady ends up charging me 450 to do the set. But now I'm actually kind of confused. I don't really know if she did a volume or a mega volume set on me. Um, but anyway, Injal. So I'm sharing with you my story and my experience. I don't know if I recommend it. Um, purely because I think after the first day, like my eyes did sting quite a bit. So I think it was like the residue from the glue like coming into my eye. And my eyes could be more sensitive because I can't see. I wear glasses, contacts, I can't see though, contacts, glasses, whatever, I've ordered glasses, so I'm expecting glasses, so, 
use all of that information to your discretion. I am going to leave her details regardless because personally, I thought she was nice. She was efficient with her service, um, except for the drying parts that did take quite a bit of time. To answer the question of is it safe, I don't know, but it's cheap. <laughs> You're an adult, you make your own decisions, and that's all I wanted to share with you guys. So that's my experience, y'all. So I finally got around to actually trying to install this hair, and it was a fail. Spoiler alert. However, I did start by trying to prep the hair on the wig head. I just find it so much easier and faster to do it on the wig head versus on my actual head because I can't see the back of it, obviously. And please do not judge me for using safety pins on my wig head. I do have T-pins, but I have misplaced them. So I just had to use what I can because I am a resourceful hun. I did not do anything special, just blow dried the hair, used a wax stick to keep it facing backwards, put on serum, put on heat protectant, blow dried that shit and straightened it until I felt like it looked perfect. And I kid you not, everything was actually going very, very well. Even the beginning of the install where I was using the ball cap and everything, but for some odd reason, once I was actually placing the wig on my head and actually sticking it on like this is the finale, it just happened to get this fold on the lace that I couldn't attribute to anything and I still can't. And it ended up with me like trying at least three times to install it. So removing it, putting on ghost bond again, then trying to place it. But it was just a complete fail. But I was on my way somewhere. So I wore it regardless. Um, but I had wanted to keep the install for like five days, but ended up only keeping it for like two. And then I removed it. So freaking hot. So, I did prep and fix a wig on my head, which was intended to last for at least five days. Granted, that's why I used the ball cap method. But listen, that whole thing was a fail. And I also then realized that it was sitting like here on my forehead. So I just decided to take it off. Now I'm gonna put in my other wig, the blonde one. Blonde, the one, blonde highlights. But not with the intention of keeping the install for days on end. And also see if I can do baby hairs on it. Mm. I've got to be is facing all different directions. So I think I said in this video I will do my lashes, my hair, and I'm doing it right now because it was a fail initially. Uh, but you know what? I'll get better at it. Um, and then also said I'd get a wax, which <laughs> done. I washed my makeup brushes, did my wig lines, even though they're old now because of how long it's taken to actually do all of my maintenance. But I've also been swimming in between, so I guess. I guess because I've been swimming. I'm a fish now. Um, yeah. So I think I've basically ticked off almost everything on from a maintenance side. Also did my nails. Um, disclaimer. Nails, chrome nails, the ones that I have right now, are kind of high maintenance. Um, so I do suggest that 
And if you do chrome nails, chrome nails, you buy a, a touch up thing and have acetone as well so that you can touch them up. Um, I did go and buy um, the chrome thingy, but I only got a gold one. I didn't end up using it. However, I just do recommend it if you want to keep your your chrome in for a long time. Mine is still intact, but like at the tips, it does sort of like scratch off because you use your hands and chrome isn't an, a polish. It's literally rubbed onto polish. So the chrome is the first thing to like chip -a chip -a chip away. But I'm sure you can see here too. So Call it how it is. Hendrix. Promise me, swear, swear. On every bit. Yo, Percocet. Miley Percocet. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Rep the set, gotta rep the set. Chase a chick, never chase a bitch. Chase no mask on, fuck it, man. I genuinely can't see what I'm doing. I got this tiny um, straightener for baby hairs on take a lot from this brand common first time i'm using it so we'll see how it works okay so it only has one heat setting Yum yum my purr purr. Okay, so I am finally done. <sighs> it took a while, but I think I think I am getting better. Yeah guys, that is the end of this maintenance vlog.
thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it please ask questions for things that i did not leave um in the video in the description box but i hope you guys are enjoying these videos because i am because i'm still trying to learn more about how to do maintenance my own maintenance etc but um like comment and subscribe how am i low baba zani Never chase a bitch.